Now you don't have to resort to Spotlight if you don't want to. You can just say, um, let's uh, go out of edit mode, hit Control N to clear your canvas, and we're just going to grab out of our tool palette here a plain 3D, drag it on our canvas, go into edit mode, make a poly mesh 3D, and actually let's go to the body here. We're going to select her body and then go back to my plain 3D here, and we're just going to go down here to append and just put her body in here. So now I have a plane which I can pull in front of her body. Let's go BTR to go back to regular transpose. Uh, we'll turn on transparency so you can kind of see her behind there. So we have a plane in front of her body. So what we can do is uh, we have a polyframe turned on. Let's go ahead and hit Control D a couple times to give us a little bit more resolution. We're going to turn on X symmetry. We can go through here and we can just start masking where we might want some clothing. You know, if you want to give her armholes, it's like, okay, we can just, you know, give her armholes here. Uh, we have, you know, not that much geometry, but when we go over here to geometry, delete lower, and then do a edge loop, edge loop mass border. Now, if you turn on polyframe, you're going to see we have a little pattern right here. We can say geometry modified topology, delete hidden, which is, this is why I have a custom menu so I can get to it quickly, but geometry modified topology, delete hidden, go to my YouTube channel and check out the ZBrush for concept and iteration if you want to make your own custom menus. There's information in that in there. But now we have our own pattern. Uh, we don't have any thickness, but it's easy enough to add dynamic thickness now. So we can go over here to dynamic. We're going to turn off smooth. We're going to crank that thickness up. So it goes, let's go ahead and hit W and we'll move this in her body here. So we're going to crank up that dynamic thickness so it covers her entire body here. And if you want to add more segments in here, you know sometimes you have trouble uh, across these arms. You can go through here and you can just add some segments in there. Now, of course, we don't have arm holes, but that's easily remedied. I'm going to go to the front here, turn off perspective, hold down control shift, go in here to slice curve. And now what I can do is I can hold down control shift and wherever I want an arm hole, I'm just going to tap alt once to get a nice bezier curve. If I alt tap twice, it's going to give me a sharp curve. I'm just going to slice right through there. It's going to give me a poly group I can get rid of. Now, it's not symmetrical, so it doesn't do it on both sides. But what I can do is... Uh, if I go down here to Modify Topology and I do a Mirror and Weld, it's going to do negative X to positive X, which we've talked about before with our axes. So what we want to do is go down here to Deformation, Mirror across the X, and then Geometry Modify Topology, Mirror and Weld across the X. And this is why I have a custom menu. I can put those buttons right next to each other. So here, I can go through here and I can slice this neck. And again, this isn't a symmetrical operation, even if it kind of looks symmetrical, you don't even have to be that careful. Just tap Alt once as you're going across here, you just cut the straight across and then do another, you know, mirror and weld across the X axis. And then for the bottom here, we'll go ahead and if we do, if we have it slice upwards, it's going to change all these polygroups. Not a big deal in this case, but if you want to, you just drag from the other direction. And then now you can also use your spacebar to move this around. And then again, geometry modify topology, mirror and weld. So now we have a uh, control shift switch back over to select rectangle, grab that front polygroup here. Oh, this is all dynamic by the way. It hasn't actually been applied as real geometry because we're playing around with dynamic thickness. Well, let's go ahead and apply that dynamic thickness. So this is real geometry now. And we can just grab this front, this side, and this back just by again, control shift clicking, switch to select rectangle, grab the front, control shift drag to invert that selection, grab the side, grab the back, control shift drag again, and then geometry modify topology delete hidden and now we have a dress pattern so just like we were doing in the other demos recalculate that collision volume just in case contract in the z run the simulation that'll go ahead and snap to her give the dress some thickness z remesh it if you want to go through here with your smooth cloth brush uh, the new smooth cloth brush in your menu here if you're just joining us b s o is a smooth cloth brush We'll go through here and any of the bunching that happened, no problem. We can go through here and we can just smooth that out before we Z-remesh. If you want to clean up uh, the whole geometry or just the edges, you can actually go through here with the move brush as well if we want to get rid of some of this bunching in here. But we can say deformation polished by features to smooth the entire surface and the edges, or we can just concentrate on the edges with masking border only, control tap to invert that mask, and then go back up here and do a polished by features. Control drag. And now we have X symmetry still turned on under transform, just X, tap X to activate that on. So now when we go in here to geometry, Z remesher, we'll turn that adapt size down. Again, the lower this number goes, the more even the quads are going to be. The higher it is, the more it's going to build in geometry where it thinks you need it. You know what? Let's keep this one up a little bit higher. 
uh, just to test and see what it does. There's nothing wrong with learning. And then we're going to go over here to uh, target polygon count of five. We're sitting at four right now. So actually, let's just do same and zero mesh this result. Give ourselves a little bit nicer uh, overall topology. And again, you can you know go half and hold down Alt and tab zero mesh or get a different algorithm. See if that works for you. But I think this geometry will work fine. If we want to again do our Let's go over here to Skin Shader 4. Do our uh, turn on dynamic. Uh, that has a lot of thickness turned on. So we can go and turn that thickness down to zero. Well, maybe a little bit. We'll add some thickness. And again, just like we'd said in the previous videos, offset negative 100 or offset at 100 will determine if the outer or the inner mesh is your inner mesh. And then it's going to either dynamically inflate inwards or dynamically inflate outwards or zero is going to split the difference. We also still have our segments up at five. We can turn that back down to one. Get a nice clean result here. We'll keep the offset at zero. Go back into our startup material here. We can run another uh, contract on our collision volume, kind of stick it to our mesh. Again, you can always go through here and you know use your pinch brush to thin these down or use your move brush to thicken them out or whatever you want to do smooth to get rid of any bunching. You can always zero mesh the result as well. Rerun your claw simulation. We can ha uh, we can actually add some actual subdivisions here. So we can go through and do like B, T, C for a transposed cloth. Go ahead and get some compression wrinkles um, in here. We can go back to deformation, do another polish by features. We can also like maybe grab these bottom areas here, control tap to blur that mask a little bit, control tap in your document, control tap on the body to blur the mask, control tap on the document to invert that mask. And then over here we can trade maybe an expand. Uh, and again, let's do just do X and Z. We don't need to do up and down. So with expand, we can run the simulation and then I'll go ahead and add some frills uh, to the bottom of this dress here. And of course, just like anything else, we go to B, C, U for our cloth nudge, turn off X symmetry so we don't get symmetrical here and also just turn off this expand so it's not running an expand as we're running. So we can go through here and we can add, you know, add some wrinkles where we need to. You can hold down shift to smooth. And the more geometry you have, the smaller your wrinkles are going to be. So if you go back down here to subdivision level one, and you can actually add a smooth preview to this as well. So subdivision level one and nudge will give you big primary wrinkles. Subdivision so level two would get a little bit more contained uh, wrinkles. Subdivision so level three, if we divide this one more time, will give you even more uh, fine wrinkles in here. So you may want to go back through and do like a smooth pass or whatever. But whatever result you're looking for, um, you can you know start with another pattern. And I'm not going to bother throwing this in another movie, but we can do an append plane. And you don't even have to have a drawn out pattern or anything, or you, you paint a pattern from it. Let's go BTR for a regular transpose. You can literally just go through here with transpose or transparent. Hold down control shift, slice, and just go along the contours of the body again, holding down alt to kind of go through here and cut and cut across. Let's do a geometry modified topology mirror and weld. We'll go ahead and grab this middle one here. Control shift tap, geometry modified topology delete hidden. Go through here and cut in a neck hole. And probably you, you may need more geometry than this as well, but you can also delete hidden and then go through the exact same process we just did. An alternative, if you're used to this, if you don't want to use dynamic thickness for some reason, you can also go up here to extract and you can turn down smoothness, uh, turn up the thickness, hit extract, say always okay, and that'll give you a preview of the mesh uh, when you go to extract it. Uh, if you like that, go ahead and hit accept and now you'll see you have a front and a back polygroup with a side polygroup here. Might just be another alternative to doing a dynamic thickness. You just m manually go through here and put your geometry where you need to. So a couple different methods to go about starting out getting some clothing on your character.